right, I think we're going to try something new today. I'm going to do a paint pour. And we're going to pour through this a kitchen strainer. I found it at the dollar store. And see what happens. I've never done this before, so let's do it. These are the colors we're going to be using. Let me zoom out a little bit. The other out. These are the ones we're going to use today. We've got light pink, orchid, Neptune blue, and light yellow. Let's get started. I'm going to reuse cups that I've already used for paint pours and they've dried. Um, I hate wasting and using these just one time seems a little silly to me. There's that bubble. So we're going to use them again paint's all dry in there. It's only like a thin layer, so it really shouldn't um, contribute or take away from, I don't know. It really shouldn't um, cause a problem as far as any sediment getting in the paint. So we'll see what happens. Pouring through a kitchen strainer is Definitely new to me. Hmm. This one's pretty gloopy. Uh oh. I was planning on mixing some white with that anyway to get it a little lighter. So we'll go ahead and do that. No, we don't want that one. did what I hope is going to end up being a smart thing. Put a piece of um, Bristol board on my desk. So hopefully I don't make a mess. And in the interest of reusing things, I'm using popsicle sticks I've already used. Gonna give this a mix. Let's see what kind of yellow we get. It's gonna be a little skewed by the green on the inside of the cup, but we'll see. Actually, that looks really good. I like that. Okay, sweet. All right, now we're gonna mix in the flow trawl. Thank you. 
all this stuff around and we'll get to the paint pour. And again, in the interest of uh, reusing anything I can, I'm using the uh, parchment paper from one of the last pours, actually from the first video, and the same cubs. I don't like to use things once. And then we have this guy. I have never done one of these pours before. I've seen them done, but I have never attempted it myself a little nervous. So it doesn't want to sit flat, which bothers me a bit, so I might pop this little guy off and do it that way. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. All right. Get some paper towels ready because I will need them. All right. It's about in the center. I think I'm going to start with the blue, then move to purple, pink, and then yellow last. So, here goes nothing. Hard to see with the glare, or the shadow, I should say. Is that better? It's starting to seep through. Hmm. That actually helps a lot. I think I'll keep that going. All right, let's see what purple's gonna do. Starting to mix. That's fun. I think that little doohickey underneath would have been a benefit in this situation. It would have picked it up and let the paint drain through the holes a little more. Future reference. It's looking like a flower, which is what I was going for, so that's pretty exciting. Let's let it sit for a minute, I guess. Just slowly oozing out. You know, I think I'm gonna do more purple and blue, or purple and pink for the petals. Kinda wanted the blue to be the background. In fact, I might do a little blue around the edges. That little stopper really would have been beneficial to keep in there. I wonder if I can help it along. It looks really cool. We'll put a little bit of yellow in the middle. We've got enough paint. Cool. 
Cool. I think we're going to get to tilting. All right, I am going to spread this blue out towards the edges. Not too thin, just enough to hopefully help spread things out. Don't need to worry about that bit. Let's see how we do. I'm going to be brave this time and not use gloves. I usually don't. I just didn't want to get paint on my camera. So I'm going to try to keep it as flowery. Oh, that looks so cool. As possible. Oh, we got a big blue spot in the center, which is not what I was going for. Come on. come out how I hoped it would but nonetheless I like it tilt a little bit more this way bit paint on that corner come on I guess it was a good idea I uh, put some paper down I dribbled onto where it would have been the desk. Let me make sure all my edges, nope. Alright, well, there we have it. I will let this dry, and then I'll be back to film the results of it dried. So, stay tuned for the final product. So there she is. The result of pouring paint through a sink strainer. I like it. I think it turned out cool. I like the little yellow heart thing going on in the middle. Um, definitely interesting. Never poured through the sink strainer before or poured through anything really for that matter. This was the first time I poured through something. I've attempted pouring on something before, but never through. So more fun to experiment with. See what comes of it. I'm going to bring you in for a close-up and that'll wrap up the video. And there it is. Hope you enjoyed watching this paint pour. I know I enjoyed making it. Uh, if you feel so inclined, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share with your friends. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.